Hi, I'm Dr. Jamie Condis, and I'm here today to talk about taking your child's temperature. So there are three accurate types of digital thermometers. There's one kind that can go in the mouth, rectum, or under the arm, and I'll talk about that first. For young infants, especially three months and less, we recommend taking the temperature rectally with this type of thermometer. You don't want to use it in their mouth until they're four years or older. And definitely label your thermometer as to whether or not you're using it in the mouth or the rectum. So if you are taking your infant's temperature with a rectal thermometer, you wanna put a little petroleum jelly on the tip of the thermometer, make sure it's clean, and then put your infant on their belly, on your lap, make sure that they're relaxed, insert the thermometer just about a half inch to an inch into their rectum. If you're meeting any resistance, then just stop and pull it out. Another type of thermometer you can use is called a temporal artery scanning thermometer. They read an artery in your forehead called the temporal artery and scan for an infrared temperature. The nice thing about the temporal artery thermometers that scan your forehead is you can use them in any age person, they're easy to clean, they typically give you a reading pretty fast. The third type of thermometer that we could recommend is also scanning an artery, but in your eardrum, and that's the ear thermometer. You probably see these used a lot in doctor's offices and hospitals. These are nice because they can be used in children six months and up. If you do use it in an older child, it works best if you pull their ear up and to the back and then stick it in the ear canal. The type of thermometers that we don't recommend because they aren't as accurate are the ones called the fever strips. Uh, you might have seen them. They're a strip that goes across the forehead. They're really not very accurate. Or the ones that are a pacifier thermometer. It's like It looks like a pacifier, but it's actually a thermometer. Those aren't very accurate either. So with any fever questions, always give your doctor a call if you're concerned. But it would be nice to have an accurate digital thermometer at home.